What do you do if you don't like your job? Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The Future in 5. My name is Jacob Morgan. This is where I share my thoughts, ideas, and commentary on the future of work in five minutes or less. I'm in a hotel. I just landed in uh, Chicago. I'm speaking at a conference tomorrow. Uh, but before I get to that conference, I wanted to do a video. And the topic of this video is what to do if you don't like your job. Uh, I have a newsletter where I have thousands of people that read content that I create once a week, and oftentimes I ask them questions. And the past week, I was asking people questions around if they feel fulfilled in the work that they're doing. And I got a lot of emails back from people um, around mainly how unhappy they were with their jobs and, you know, what, what should they be doing? What should they be thinking about? And I have conversations with people that I know in my personal life uh, on this very subject as well. And I think ultimately, if you don't like your job, you really only have three options. Now, option number one is you have some kind of a confrontation. So you have to be prepared for a little bit of confrontation, but you have a conversation with either your manager, your peers, your coworkers around why you don't like or why you are unhappy um, and, and what can be done to resolve that problem. But if you have conversations with your managers and with your peers, you don't want to make it sound like you're complaining. I mean, you don't just want to go to your, um, your managers or your peers and say, I'm unhappy. I want more money. I want, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, if you're going to have these types of conversations, you need to go in there with a little bit of a game plan, right? So you need to be able to clearly explain how you feel, why you feel that way, and what the best course of action is to resolve that issue. So, for example, if you don't feel appreciated in the work that you're doing, you need to be able to clearly convey that to your managers or your peers and say, you know, I worked on this really big project. I turned it over. Nobody even acknowledged the fact that I did this project. We had a big meeting about this and nobody said thank you to me for doing it. In the future, for me to feel appreciated and for me to be able to be more engaged, I would really like it for you guys to acknowledge the work that I'm doing. It makes me feel good. And my wife always tells me I got to get better at using that terminology as well. So don't be scared to use makes me feel, I feel like. So make sure to use those words. But again, if you have an issue at work, you have to be able to um, have that conversation. And again, be prepared to explain why you feel that way and what the solution is. The solution is the key part there. Oftentimes people advise you to have conversations with managers or with peers, but if you don't have some sort of a solution to propose, you're really not getting anywhere. So have that solution in place. Again, be prepared for a little bit of pushback. You might get a little bit of confrontation. Uh, don't be aggressive about it. Just, you know, talk to somebody the way you would talk to a friend um, and see what happens. So that's option number one is you try to make the problem go away or you try to make things work with your current role. Uh, solution number two is you try to find a new role within that company. Oftentimes, if you are employed at a company, especially if it's a, a larger one, they give you the option to move around uh, to different teams or different departments within the company. So you can see if there are other job openings available and you can try to shift from your current department to another department, maybe to a different location. Um, I've seen several uh, people that I know do this within their careers, within their jobs, and they have found it to be quite effective because they just didn't have good chemistry with their managers or with their peers, so they switched to a different department. The third option, and the last resort, I think, is you have to quit, right? You go find something else. Now, what you do when you quit is obviously up to you. You can go find another job. You can become a freelancer. You can go uh, raise money somewhere. Um, but that is the third option, is you just say, you know what? There's nothing I can do here. I'm not engaged. I'm not productive. I don't feel supported. Uh, I can't switch to a different team or a different department. I have to try to leave. And you know what? That's okay because life is short and nobody wants to be treated like a cog within their organizations. So if things really are that bad, it is better to leave than to stay there and to be miserable and unhappy. But again, you don't want to just leave. Obviously, if you have financial expenses, you have a family, you have things that you need to take care of. Do it the smart way. Don't be stupid about it. You know, prepare, plan in advance before you just take off. You don't just want to go into a fit of rage into your boss's office and say, F you, I quit. I'm going out of here uh, or make one of those funny videos that people have been posting online. Don't do that. Be smart about it. But um, if you get to that point where you realize in your mind that there's really nothing left for you at this company, 
then you know start planning your exit and how you can move outward. So those are the three options I believe that most people have when it comes to what to do if you don't like your job. Again, option number one, you try to fix the problem. Option number two, you try to move to a different department or a different team within that company. Option number three, you just get the hell out of there. Curious to hear what you think, leave me a comment below. You can also catch more episodes of these videos uh, and of the podcast that I do as well by visiting thefutureorganization.com. If you're interested in the newsletter, you can also find a link to sign up for that newsletter there as well. If you have any questions for me or suggestions for topics, you can always send me a tweet. My Twitter handle is at Jacob M. Or of course, you can email me as well. My email is jacob at thefutureorganization.com. I so I can't even speak. It's late. It's almost midnight here. Jacob at thefutureorganization.com. So I'll see you next time on an episode of The Future in Five. Hey, are you interested in the future of work? If so, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the latest content on the future of work and stay up to date on all the latest trends and happenings. Not to mention, you will make me very, very happy. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs>